In this video, I'm gonna show you a complete step-by-step -step guide for how to send a thousand personalized Loom videos a day on autopilot. This is the exact framework that we use at SendSpark to generate 250 demos a month and easily $100,000 in new revenue. By the end of this video, you're gonna have the exact framework to be able to send 1,000 personalized emails a day without landing in spam, get double, possibly triple the reply rates you're seeing right now, fill up your calendar with sales calls, and predictably and reliably drive revenue for your business. The first thing that we're gonna have to do is set up our email infrastructure. So sending a thousand personalized emails a day without landing in spam is no joke. For this, I'm going to recommend using SmartLead. They have a great tool to just make it super easy to set up new domains and new sending accounts. So what we want to do is buy two new email domains and then set up multiple sending accounts. So that way, one, we're not doing super high value for any account. And also let's say one thing goes wrong with one account, that one gets blacklisted. It's okay. We have some other things rolling. So what we'll do is head over to email accounts here in SmartLead and then click add account. From here, you can select smart senders and they're gonna do all the hard work for you. Just select your provider, add your domain name. For this, what I'd recommend doing is like typing in maybe your own domain with like something slightly different like SendSpark app and then seeing what they recommend. From here, I'm gonna just pick two. I like to pick the smallest ones just so it's not like a super long domain. Hit save and next. And then from here, you're gonna set up the profiles and you can add another persona if you want to send this for multiple people. I'm just going to do this all from Ben right on our team. And so I'll set this up from him. I'll add his image and first name, last name. Now it is really important to fill this out and fill this out exactly the way that you want it to appear in email, because this is going to actually show up when people get the emails. And since these are brand new accounts, we want them to look real, like a real person. And then from here, set up your forwarding domain. So this will just be your real domain here. And then you can see all of the emails that they generated for you. It's really just different combinations of first and last name using those new domains. And then you can preview the costs and when all look good, click review order. So we'll go ahead and buy these. It does take a little bit of time for Smartly to actually set up the domains for you. It's not that long. We'll say it's like a day or two. So you'll see these ones are inactive, but I actually set up some previous ones a couple days ago that are ready to go. So I'll show you the next step and just keep in mind, this will be a point where you maybe have to wait, do something else for a day. Okay, so we have brand new domains. We wanna make sure that they land in the inbox. So what we'll do is go back to the other domains that these are the ones I set up two days ago that are ready to go, but need to be furtherly configured before they can be sent. There's a few things you want to do. And I have a cheat sheet here. So this is our email infrastructure. We're setting the persona. This is what we're doing now. We're going to set up account forwarding and warm up. I'll go through each one as I do it. So first of all, we'll go to general and then we can leave a lot of these blank, but we do want to set up a different reply to address. And for this, I'm going to use Ben's actual email address. The reason to do this is so that when people reply, those emails get forwarded to your inbox. So you don't have to go and be checking 10 different sending domains. You just have to check your real email. Next, we want to add the signature. For this, I usually just have it on handy so I can go and copy and paste his signature in. And then this is optional and you might not need to do this, but if you want to make sure these emails are tracked to your CRM, then you can add a BCC. So we use HubSpot as our CRM. I add the tracking link and this just makes sure that all of the emails are logged. So if you're using the same contacts for different campaigns in the future, you have this. Now his email is pretty much ready. We got the signature, we got the tracking, we're gonna have replies sent to the right email. The last thing we wanna do here is set up warm up. And so we'll just go here to warm up and hit enable warm up. And then what's happening here is behind the scenes, SmartLead is sending emails from this email to other email addresses in the SmartLead system. And then they're all kind of like replying and engaging with each other's emails. And then SmartLead is automatically filtering this out so it's not getting forwarded to the email address. And this helps improve deliverability a ton because instead of looking like a brand new account with no history, it looks like a real email account. Now we can move on to the next step of our outreach campaign, which is finding leads. For this campaign, what I'm going to recommend you doing is going to Ocean and searching for a lookalike audience. So what this means is that we're saying we have this really good customer, this great successful customer who we know gets a ton of value from our product. Let's find other people like them because they'll likely get similar value from the product. In this case, what we're going to do is a look like for warmly warmly is one of our super happy customers and so what you can do here is go to ocean and search for the domain of the company that 
that you want to find the lookalike audience too. And then they're going to pull up a bunch of similar companies. And then you can add filters to make sure that you're getting the right title. So in this case, we're filtering for head of sales, director of sales, VP sales, and you can add whatever filters you want here to be narrowing down to the actual buying persona that you want at these companies. And then what Ocean does is just pull up a ton of these lookalikes. And again, you can filter down further if it doesn't look good. And then you can go here and reveal their email addresses right in Ocean. And you can do as many as you want. We said we're doing a thousand emails a day. So I recommend doing a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, however far ahead you want to set up this campaign for. Here, we'll do a thousand to start. You can do a number and then click on reveal contacts. I do not want the phone number. So I'm just going to hit on reveal email addresses. And so I'll uncheck the phone numbers and reveal contacts and we're ready to go. When this list is ready, we'll get a notification here and then we can download the CSV. While these are processing, let's go ahead to the main part of the video, which is creating the thousand personalized Loom videos. For this, we're not actually using Loom, we're using SendSpark, which is similar platform in terms of you can record personalized video messages similar to Loom, but they also have this dynamic video feature here where you can take one video and use AI to personalize it with a first name and background screen of every person on the list. So what we'll do is we'll go to this dynamic video section of SendSpark. We'll say, you know, warmly look alike. And then what you can do here is record one video where instead of recording with the first name, instead of saying, hi, Bethany, hi, John, hi, Sam, for every person on the list, we record one video and we say, hi, watermelon. And watermelon is that keyword that gets replaced with viewers' first names. That's in English. There's also other languages supported. And if you choose a different language, then the intro is going to change here. So you can go ahead and record. I'm going to just use the sample video to dive right in, but I would recommend you recording a video. So by default, the video is just going to be full screen video of you or you recording over your screen, whatever you recorded there. There's also this feature of a dynamic background. So if you toggle this on, your camera bubble will be like cropped into a circle and it will be put over your prospect's website. And this can be pretty cool for campaigns where you want to reference something on their website, like maybe their industry, careers page, case studies. And it does add a little extra personalization to the campaign. We're going to go ahead and use this and we can set a fallback. So like, let's say we don't have their website for some reason. We're going to make sure that that video is over SunSpark. So this is the video. Next up, we can customize the landing page to make sure that after people watch this video, they're able to book demos, right? That's what we want. We want these sales meetings on the calendar. I'm going to hit a template that I have saved, which just says, hey, first name under the video. There's a little message. You can use the links below to get started, book a call button, get started now. And then my calendar links embedded as HubSpot, but there are a bunch of different calendar integrations as well. If you use Calendly, Chili Piper, or another tool to book meetings. So we can preview the page here. And of course the logo, colors, all that can be set to match your brand. And then we'll continue forward. And the next step here is to add the contacts. So now is when we need our contacts from Ocean, which we'll download these. And now the next next step is simply to import these contacts into SendSpark. So we can hit upload CSV and import them in and map the fields. So here we want to map first name to person first name, email to person email. We're not using company job title in there, so we don't really care. Background URL, that's what's going to show up behind us. So for that, we want to add the company domain as that field and we're not using LinkedIn URL. There's also an option to extract background URL from email domain if field is empty. So why not? Let's click that and we'll go ahead and import our contacts. We'll see these loading. We can preview everything looks good. Do a quick run through, maybe just swing these up if needed and capitalize some letters because we are going to show that on the page. And then when all looks good, then we'll just click generate videos. There is an option to preview. If this is your first time using SenseBark, definitely do this. Start with three. Preview before using all of your dynamic video credits. But I'm going to go ahead and just hit generate videos and generate all of these. So our videos are starting to process here. We can see them and get a count of where we are. The the last thing that we're going to do in this video is send these out in an email campaign. So while these are processing, let's go ahead and create our email sequence and then we'll share them all at scale. For the email sequence, we're going to set this up also in Smartlead where we've set up our domains. And we can go here is click create campaign. We're going to upload the contacts from CSV and we're going to use the same list of contacts to make sure that everyone is <laughs> getting the right video. And here, let's keep their default settings on, click save, and then we'll want to map in the fields, first name, first name, last name location, email. These are all the fields we're really using, so that's fine. We'll just hit save and next. So we got our contacts in and now we can create our sequence. So for here, like, hey, first name, we're helping companies like warmly because that's look like book meetings on autopilot with personalized videos. Thank 
you mind like writing good emails? This is an art that evolves over time. So it's not like what I'm doing now is necessarily what's going to work two months from now. But I'd recommend doing something like your first email is asking if they want a quick video of what you're doing. So it's kind of like a low ask that makes it easy. And then in the second step, which we can delay three days, this is when I would automatically send the video. So first one kind of like, you know, general hook, we're helping others be like a video and kind of like ease them in. And then next one, you can say like, I went ahead and made a video to show how we're helping warmly book 100 meeting per month on autopilot. And so here is when we actually want to embed the video. And then this way as well, I'd recommend where you basically have first email plain text only, and you can be like, how about we do a warmly question? And I could be like, are you familiar with warmly? We're helping. I'm writing this on the spot. I feel like there's a lot of pressure, but you know, <laughs> refiner came in, but something like this, right? We've got like a little question, like short subject line, plain text, email, call to action is to get a video. So if people reply, you can just send this. And if they don't reply, you're going to send the video no matter what. And then we can go ahead and add the video snippet in. So the way that this works, look, we can see some of our videos generated here and I'll play them for you. Hi, Cindy. I just generated this video using SenseSparks AI. So that's one. Hi, Alethea. I just generated this video using SenseSparks AI. So you can see these are all the same videos, but it's just got the first name in the beginning. And then we're showing over the right person's website. The way we share these in Smartlead, it's as if we're sending another merge tag, like first name, company name, something like that, where you can embed a dynamic video snippet right in your email. So what we're going to do is go back here. We'll click share campaign. If you're using a different sending platform, each of these are slightly different. So I'd recommend just going and like watching the video that's embedded here. And I'll walk you through this step. For Smartlead, what we're going to do is is paste these two links into the email. And this is unique for Smartlead where there's two separate links. So one is an image, which is the nice little preview of the video. And then the second is gonna be the actual link. So when people open their email, they get a little video preview embedded and then they click the link and they watch the video online. This is really good for deliverability because we're not sending the whole video, we're just sending that little preview. So we'll copy this snippet first and paste it right here in our campaign. It'll look something like this. I'm going to add a little indent. You can, of course, change this text or remove that. And then I'll go back and I'll grab the link and I'm going to hyperlink the image. And then I'm also going to hyperlink text here. And we can just review this one more time. So basically we have our first email question. Hey, name, you familiar with Warmly? We're helping them both 250 meetings per month and autopilot per lines videos. We like quick video of this strategy. And then here, went ahead and made you a video to show how we're helping Warmly both country meetings. Cool. So we got this save. And now that the campaign is ready, our videos are still generating. But what we can do is just preview how these are going to look and then wait till they actually are done generating. Turn this on. So in Smartlead, let's pick Pick one name so we can go to the next step and send our accounts we're going to use those accounts we set up so these ones were from ben and we could just select a mix the nice thing is that smart lead is going to auto rotate these domains so what we can do we're sending a thousand a day but the more we have selected means the less that are going per day of that email account so we're not starting super high volume on any account we're getting a mix here so we can save the accounts here schedule campaign i'm just going to set this up for new york time zone and then we'll have weekdays campaign let's start it tomorrow tomorrow. So we get one day of warm up in and then we can go to the final review. And then this step in the final review, this is when we're just going to double check that everyone is getting the right video. So remember, we created all these personalized videos here in SendSpark. We want to make sure that every person is getting the right video in Smartlead. And we can set this up by going to the preview, selecting email to, and then checking. The important thing to note is we're mapping these by email. So this email in Smartlead is getting the video for this this email here in SendSpark. So you just want to double check when you're checking that email is in both platforms. And here we can clearly see everyone has that personalized video for them. At the top of the list, if we were to scroll all the way down to the videos that haven't generated, they of course would not have their video yet. They'd still have the placeholder. And the placeholder is the one that says, hey there, and is recording over our website. So no one's ever getting a watermelon video, but for the best effect, you do want to wait until all of these videos generate in SendSpark. And as you can see, they load pretty quickly. So that is all we have to do. The final step is just going to be going back to smart lead hitting save and clicking this schedule button to start our campaign now as you've seen throughout this video personalized videos are absolutely killer for outreach if you want to get the same results that we're seeing that our customers are seeing you can go ahead find the link below and sign up for your SendSpark account today try it out if it works for you it'll be amazing and there's absolutely zero risk in just giving it a try in this video i spent a decent amount of time going through the technical setup and so i wasn't able to spend much time on the content or the strategy of video or 
different ways to find leads. But in reality, there's a lot more that I can show you about this outreach strategy. So if you want to click here to see how to get even more out of the strategy and master it for yourself to get the most effective email campaigns, go ahead, do that, and you'll be able to book dozens of sales calls and truly beat your competition.